What does he mean when he says, like, I've done horrible things for the rebellion? What, what is he referring to? How are you, Diego? I am very good. How are you? I'm good. Congratulations on this. I mean, it's so fun to see Cassium back. Of course, this is a prequel to Rogue One. So when you got the call, I mean, what were your initial reactions when they said, we, we want more Cassian? Uh, I was... I, I, I... I was really happy, excited about the opportunity and the and the idea, just because it sounded so bold and and uh, and risky and interesting and fun. You know, you don't approach uh, storytelling like this. You know, you, we know the ending. Uh, it's not about yeah. like how do we end this in order to people not not see it coming. You know, no, we we know the end. It's about how much can we challenge who you think Cassian was. You know. Uh, how far mm. can he be from the guy we met in, in Rogue One, you know? And how interesting can we make an arc become, you know? And, and that journey for you to, to stay uh, 24 episodes with us watching this story, you know? So I was, I was really, really happy and really pleased with the, the, the call. They called me and said, like, would you like to explore this possibility? And that was like four years and a half ago, uh, a long time ago. And I said, yes, and it's been a long process, but uh, we're here and, and really proud of what we've done, you know? And it's interesting, because like you said, we know the ending, and that kind of gives you such a big playground to play in. I mean, what was the most interesting part for you, someone who already knows this character so well, to go back and to dive deeper into his story and all of the things that made him who he is? Well, I mean, there is very interesting lines in Rogue One that suggest there is a, 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 a I mean, a, a great and painful and difficult story to, to, to tell, you know. He says, for example, uh, um, I've been part of this fight since I was six years old. What does that mean, you know? And what, what makes a, a six-year-old uh, become an adult? And, and start a fight, you know, like uh, start thinking that way. What, what made him like miss his childhood, basically? Uh, what does he mean when he says like, I've done horrible things for the rebellion? What, what is he referring to? Uh, uh, he talks about a dark past. Let's go see it, you know? I think it's, I think it's very interesting. Uh, and, and, uh, and as you said, it's, it's complete freedom because that can be yeah anything you know anything so working with an amazing writer like tony gilroy uh, uh is, is 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 an amazing ride when you have this amount of freedom you know and and tony is a writer that uh it's 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 very complex you know his writing is very uh rich uh, you know he doesn't live in the you know, in the polls, like he, he, he doesn't write black and white, good and bad, you know, he lives in the gray areas. Uh, and, and in that richness is that we find Cassian, you know, uh, mm -hmm. story and all of the characters that we're going to meet here, because it's not just about Cassian. It's quite unfair, to be honest, to call the show Ka uh, Andor because it's an ensemble piece, you know? There's so many characters, and the long format of 12 episodes in this first season allows you to explore all those storylines. Oh, well, I've, I've seen what I've seen, and it is good, and I can't wait to see more. That's my time. Thank you so much, Diego. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here, and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.